So let's kind of do um, a demo uh, real quick. And I have, um, I'm actually doing this from Mac to Mac, and XDCR from Mac to Mac is fine. Uh, so on the right hand side is my, uh, is a, a laptop configured with uh, uh, a bunch of data buckets. So I haven't, what's called, I've made an XDCR bucket here. Um, right now I don't have, an, let's see, I think I might have had it set up. I'm going to go ahead and delete the replication. And I'm going to create a new one. Let's see, let's make sure I have no items in here. Let's start over. Then I'm going to add data. Okay, I could have items in there already, but right now this is my local um, Couchbase, and over here on the right-hand side is my uh, laptop Couchbase. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up XDCR. So this is how you set up. First, you kind of make what's called cluster references. So um, that basically, that's the location and username and password of a Couchbase server. So there I created a cluster reference. Now I want to create a replication. And on this cluster is my XDCR bucket. And on my MacBook Pro, I'm going to do the same bucket. Um, oh, <laughs> I might want to put the IP address of my MacBook Pro in here, 192.168. One dot one sec. I put my put the same address here. Dot one two one. Oh, I hope I did the right password. I think I did. Hold on. I did that. There we go. There we go. All right. And now I'm going to create a replication. Let's do XDCR to XDCR. All right. So it's starting up. And on the. Hey, David, sorry, can yes, you sir? zoom a little bit? Because it's uh, quite small. Okay. Thanks. Let me see if I can do it this way. That way I can kind of zoom in both. Is that better? Yeah, thank you. OK, let me see if I can make sure I get all the graphs I want on there. OK, so this is the laptop. So I just created this replication, right? So um, let's go to XDCR bucket. And outbound, let's see if I can get everything on there. OK. All right, now I'm going to have this I term. I'm going to see if I make it skinny so that you don't actually need to see anything here, except that I'm running a command. So I created some scripts that just create data. So this is the first one. I'm just going to create 4,000 random users. This is Ruby Jim called Faker, so it's got a bunch of uh, users in there. So on the right hand side, you can kind of see uh, here that it retrieves some ops here, you know, 4,000 items. And then you also down here, you can see, you know, this was the incoming XDCR operations. Um, so in that little burst, I, we created 4,000 documents. So here and here, we've got 4,000 documents. Um, and I'm actually going to go ahead and let's just add some more. Let's make it 8,000. So there I just did it again, and it replicated across to the other cluster. Um, and then I have a, um, oh, hold on. I have a, a small script um, that basically takes a, it queries a view that has the list of users. I have a bunch of views in here um, on the on the on my local cluster, and it basically um, gets a full list of all these users, and then randomly will update 
with an updated at timestamp adding to the JSON. Um, so let's go ahead and run that. And just so you can see, I'm going to slow it down a little bit. Oops. Wow, it actually found a... So now I have 33 items. So the faker gem randomly selects names and stuff, but it actually um, had a collision there. That the, that email address already existed. Ruby RubyUpdate.rb. So what this is doing is randomly selecting one of these 8,000 users and updating the timestamp. So on the on the left side, you can see kind of the ops per second. Uh, I, sl I slowed it down just a little bit so you could kind of see the scroll. And we've got a nice pace here. And then on the right-hand side, you can see that there's ops happening um, in the target cluster. Um, but this is actually sort of the XDCR ops th that are causing it, because there's nothing actually else is happening on this cluster, you know, on my laptop cluster. Uh, so this is all being transferred or sort of across um, you know, XDCR from the source bucket to the uh, target bucket. And I'm going to go ahead and stop that. And I can also um, I can um, delete all those documents as well. So Ruby delete. And boom, all the items are now gone. So 